Okay, we're here with Joel Stalter. Uh, great season so far for the Cal team. Now you're getting ready for the NCAA championships in Pacific Palisades at Riviera Country Club. Can you talk about the team's season to this point so far? It's, it's been a great year. Everybody has contributed a lot to the team, and um, we've won six times, and we won the Pac-12 championship for the first time in school history. So, I mean, it's you don't ask much more than that. So it was just great, and I had a lot of fun with the guys. Uh, the chemistry was great. So, uh, I mean, I'm really proud to be part of this program and that we've played so well. I'm really happy. And as uh, my teammates said, we still have an unfinished business with the NCAA championship, but very looking forward to playing there. Now, give, give people a little bit of an introduction to who you are. You're, uh, you've taken a little bit of an unusual route to get here from France. So if you could just talk about kind of your upbringing and then how you ended up at Cal. Yeah, so I was, uh, I was born and raised in France. And um, when I was 14, I was an exchange student and I came here with my high school for two weeks. So I, I was staying in Oakland in my host family, the Oakendales. And um, they, treated me, they treated me really nicely and they showed me around uh, Berkeley campus, Stanford campus. And I always knew I wanted to balance school and, and golf at the highest possible level after I graduated from high school. So I, I decided to, like, why, why wouldn't I come here? Like, try to get a scholarship and play golf for Cal or for, like, for uh, one of those great universities. So, yeah, and I, I mean, I really love Cal, and I got in really good contact with Coach Des and Walter. And I really wanted to be here and to be part of this program. And, and you've shown a significant improvement. This is your sophomore year from your freshman year to your sophomore year. Coach Desmond contri or, you know, attributes a lot of that to just your adjustment to life in general in the States. Can you talk about why you think you've been so much better this year? Yeah, I think first, uh, yeah, getting used to uh, how I work. You know, when I came here, I was not really used to, like, the American system in general, whether it was school or, you know, taking care of, like, car insurance or, you know, paying your bills and stuff. And I had to understand it in, in a total different system and language, which would made it pretty hard. But I think a part the other reason is that I practiced, I practiced really hard last year, even though I was not traveling that much. And um, the fact that I could play golf every day, whereas when I was home, I was, you know... Uh, I couldn't play all year because of the winter. Uh, I couldn't play a lot because of school, and I was trying to do well at school too. So the fact that I, you know, the fact that I, I came here and just I was just practicing every day, I think that's part of the reason. Plus, uh, we worked really hard um, on the in the weight room with uh, Coach Phillips last year, and also Co Coach Thompson this year. And I think uh, I can, I can, I think, I think the fact that I really evolved uh, and you know, physically and you know really helped my game and the fact that I got stronger helped me uh, hit different shots that I was not able to hit before so there, there's plenty of way that I can explain how I improved but I think it's just also by practicing a lot more and being able to practice. Uh, golf is an individual sport in most cases I think college golf is unique in that you get some camaraderie and you get some bonding between teammates when you get to the next level and a lot of earlier levels it's really an individual sport can you talk about how special that is and how special this group of guys has been I mean, that's true it's really individual even though when you're, you're going to a tournament there's always an individual ranking and you want to be I mean if you, their team isn't doing great but you're doing well individual of course you want to be you want to try to win the tournament you want to try to be in the top 10 but what what makes it special is when you have a great team where Everybody in the team can win the tournament, and you go you go out there and play really good golf, and you end up winning with your team. It, there's nothing, you know, when you win by yourself, you're just by yourself celebrating. But you when you win as a team, it's just amazing. Like the, especially when you have a great chemistry within the team. So it's really I think it, playing as a team and being good and being ranked number two right now on, on golf stat is just incredible because that's just something we celebrate as a whole. And as a whole team, it's not, you know, oh, this guy is great and the, the other one is not as good or, you know, there's no difference. We're all at the same level. We're just, we're just really happy to be and really proud to be such a good team and to be, to be doing really well this year. So, yeah, it's definitely very special. 
Now, I don't know if you're the key or what, but we're dubbing this a season of firsts at Cal, as successful as the Cal program has been over the years. Uh, Cal's done a lot of things that they've never done before. Uh, six wins, 13, every 13 top five finishes, and the big one's a Pac-12 championship and now a NCAA regional championship. Do you think this kind of thing happens every year around here, or do you want to make that happen in the future? Hmm. I mean, I, I know it's never been it's never been done. We're the first one uh, to accomplish such such um, su um, such uh, success. But uh, yeah, I would definitely want it. I would definitely want it to be uh, part of the same, you know, kind of momentum next year and next and the in my last year, my senior year. So I mean, I have two more years. I'm I try to contribute it as much as I can, and I, I think it's only the beginning. You know, we're we're getting better and better, and next year is going to be even better. Yeah, yeah, you talk about you've got one senior basically that played this year, and yeah. he even played a limited number of rounds. So, if you could maybe expand a little more on the future of the team. Yeah, I mean, Michael Weaver is a great player. He's coming back, so it's going to be a great addition to the team, and it's also going to be very competitive inside it because everyone's going to want a spot in the top five and it's just gonna make it better and better so we have a lot we have a lot to do and to accomplish in the next two years and I mean I, I would say that this year is our in terms of I mean it's always a paper you know but if you look at if we if we go in the right direction it's gonna be our weakest year in the next or on the next two or three years so Ta let's let's take it back really quick to this year two more questions that I had for you um, one is, can you talk about the intensity of qualifying? I'm sh something mm -hmm. a lot of people probably don't know. <laughs> Maybe take fans through what qualifying is and what goes on during that time. <laughs> qualifying is a pain. <laughs> I mean, it's really hard because you get you get out of class around twelve thirty, and you got to get out on the court, of course, at one thirty. So just grab a lunch. Usually, we prac we are, we have time to hit a few mm -hmm. balls or putts, and then we just tee up and. And it gets, it gets, you know, it's, it's a lot of pressure when you're trying to play, because you're, you know, you're competing against your teammate too. So it's, it's hard, and um, all, all you gotta do is just play, play your best, whenever you step on the course or qualifying, and you don't really have, you don't really want to look at whatever people are doing and stuff. You just want to, you know, you've practiced really hard for that, so you just go out, out there and step on the tee and play your best but it's it's very it's pretty intense I mean I, over the year there's like a top five player that pretty much separates itself but when it's not like like this year when three guys have to play for one spot it's it's really harsh it's really what whoever is ready and it's just you know it's just for competition <laughs> very basically probably should have went, to, went over this part first but very basically just tell the fans what's at stake in qualifying Pretend like they know nothing. The stake. Uh, what what's what's that? Uh, what you're playing for? Oh. Pretend the fans know nothing. Well, you're you're playing for you're playing for the spot, so you wanna you wanna be in the top five at the end of the at the end of qualifying. That's what you want because you wanna go and be part of the next trip. You know you don't wanna be here. You don't wanna stay here and watch your other teammate play, whereas you could have gone there. You know it's. But I mean, I've been through everything. I've been part of a. You know, the team that doesn't travel, I've been part of the traveling team. I think it's just uh, a matter of how, how you work and, you know, also what you want. If if you work hard, you're going to make the top five, and if not, you just got to trust that you're going to make it somehow. It's But it, it's pretty hard. You just got to play. You got you to play well, and you got to be prepared. Coach wants players that are ready to play in tournaments and being able to score, and obviously this year that's what we've done, so... Um, just a couple more. NCAA championship, can you just talk about, you know, you, you don't have that type of thing in France, right? No. Is well, it, it's there... a, I think it's probably the one of the top three, four uh, best tournament in the world as an amateur. It's the best the best player in the world are, are going to be there. Uh, they all play college golf. You get the top ten. There's probably one guy that's playing back in Europe, but then or in Japan or Australia, but then, I mean, there are going to be so many good players. And, I mean, it's my first time, so I i don't really know what to expect. I have a sense of it, you know, I've, I've had a sense of it uh, during the season with 
really good tournaments like Seven Islands. But I think, I mean, I'm really looking forward to it, and uh, I just think it's going to be really special, and especially playing with a team there. But the, definitely the field is going to be incredible. Gonna what's be. what's the key for this Cal team to play well? I think we just got to do, keep doing what we're doing, you know, practicing hard. Um, just go out there and play smart, and then, like Coach said, you got to play, you got to bring your A game. It's going to be a very demanding course. Especially around the green of the tee, it's going to be very long, and they can set it. Sin can set it up really, really hard. It was the toughest PGA course this year, so I mean, it's going to be a real challenge to do well. It just, you know, we we'll need to hit good shots, yeah. And short game, short game can save us, but we're going to hit the really, we're going to need to hit really good shots, and then we're going to have to play smart. I think the first, the first goal is to get into top eight get in the match play and then anything can happen final final question we'll take you off the course for just <laughs> one minute um, go back to the adjustment from from France to the United States and to Berkeley what is the most surprising unique interesting thing that you've seen in Berkeley that you might never see in France uh, in Berkeley what's unique about uh, Berkeley I think well <laughs> I would say the view from that, uh, you know, when you're on top of the hill, that view is just unique. There's nothing like that in the world. It's the Bay Area is just incredibly beautiful, and and then I would say the university. I haven't been that much surprised. Well, if you go on Telegraph, it's kind of a funny street, you know. But there are places like that everywhere in the world. But yeah, the, definitely the view here and the whole Bay Area is just incredible. There's no such place in the world. So yeah. Great. Well, thanks for your time <laughs> and, and good luck down in uh, Pacific Pal Palisades at Riviera Country Club. Thank you. <laughs>